So last week we got back from a road trip across South Africa and I thought I would share some of the insights that I got along the way so that you can plan a trip for yourself. So obviously you need to choose a destination when you're planning a road trip. Um, you can go and choose a place that you want to go check out or you can go and choose an activity that you would like to go do and then structure your trip around this. I would recommend combining the two like going to a place that you want to go and also going to do some activities in the area for a really um, in-depth experience of the place. Once you've decided where you would like to go, you obviously need to check out accommodation and it's quite easy to go and do that on Airbnb. You can check out what's available in the area and there's probably something out there for everybody's budget. So this is where we stay. Go check out Google Maps and see how you can get there and check out the alternative routes, check out the scenic routes that you can take to get there. For me, the scenic routes is where the magic happens. That's the essence of a road trip to me because there you get to stop at all the interesting places and you get immersed in a little bit of the culture. And while I don't recommend having a set list of things to do for each day when you are on your holiday slash road trip, I do recommend having a bucket list of sorts so that you've got some sort of plan of activities that you'd like to do in the area, but it's still flexible. So you can decide when and on which day you'd like to do these activities. For one, we wanted to go check out Bulnanus Forest. So we waited for a day when the weather was pleasant and we went and checked it out. So we're busy exploring the Asla forest and we just visited one of the oldest trees in this forest. It's over 800 years old. So the best thing to do is to not to overcomplicate this process. Find out where you want to go, check out the local accommodation that's available in the area and then enjoy the journey there. Make a road trip journey out of it because a lot of people just skip that part and just simply go straight to the accommodation and they don't actually enjoy the process of getting there which is a big part of it if you think about it. And then lastly, go check out activities in the area so you can really experience the place that you are visiting. We've come to check out one of the most beautiful beaches here. It's an amazing day to be outside. So for one of these activities we wanted to go check out the Kango Wildlife Reserve as this is a place where they have a massive cheetah rehabilitation program as well as uh, conservation efforts for other animals there. So we went and checked it out. So the cool thing about this place is that um, all the fees that they make goes to animal conservation which is pretty awesome to know that these the animals here are basically ambassadors for their species. Okay. That was absolutely incredible experience seeing all the animals and they're all in enclosures that are uh, specifically designed for these animals um, which is amazing to see and this place does a lot of conservation um, so one of the few places that I will support that actually keeps animals in enclosures. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments where you would like to go visit next and any road trips that you've got coming up. For more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's quickly try a craft burger.